What is up everyone? My name is Cody and I've got another video for you guys today. This video is going to be showing you guys how to do uh, your green screening or chroma keying or color keying uh, depending on what kind of software you're going to be using. Obviously, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use it in OBS. Uh, so a lot of people come inside of my stream and they're like, hey man, what the hell is up with your webcam? How do you do that? Um, and if you don't have a background on green screening, chroma, chroma keying or color keying, if you have no idea what they are, it's probably going to be a little bit confusing for you guys. You're going to be like, what the heck? How, what are you standing inside of? How do you not have a background? Uh, you probably think it's some foreign object. Uh, but basically, all you need is a solo color wall or a solo color uh, backdrop. Basically, one without any shadows. Uh, in the background, for you guys, it's going to look a little bit a little bit weird uh, because the way that I have my webcam set up, uh, it's on a really low uh, gain gain setting. Sorry. I love little really low exposure uh, so that there's no gain in that uh, it's a lot of true lighting instead of artificial lighting created by the webcam uh, so what I say by that is um, as you guys see I'm really bright right now uh, that's not created by the webcam it's actually really dark I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off really quick um, this is my lighting inside of my room so as you see right there my room is actually pretty dark without this webcam on or without this uh, this spotlight on and uh, what that does is it uh, creates true lighting instead of the webcam trying to make up for the darkness inside of the room. Um, that's a setting that you can go inside of in the webcam itself. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, you can basically make any webcam better quality by just, uh, you know, as long as it has these set settings. Um, I use a Logitech C615, uh, which isn't even the best webcam, but I make it look pretty good. So let's get into it. I went on a little bit too long about that. Um, but let's go into our properties of our video capture software. Uh, you're going to see that right inside of uh, OBS. It's pretty easy to get to. And right here, you're going to see uh, Chroma King right on the right, this side of my face, right over here. Uh, you're going to see your Chroma Key. And as soon as you click this, you're probably going to freak out. Um, bam. 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 Okay, there you go. Um, I already kind of have it. Shoot, my fault. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to have it like that. Uh, I meant to have it different colors so you guys could see it. Um, but really quick, um, before we get into this, uh, I want to say that if you're going to be trying to set up a green screen, the number one thing, the two things that you're going to have to look out for, uh, number one is going to be your lighting. Uh, you want to have a solid lighting on you and your background um, to where there's no shadows. As you see here, mine isn't set up very well. Um, so you see like shadows behind my hands. Uh, I'm sure you guys can see those on the wall. Uh, you got shadows over here. Um, the number, like the perfect green screen will have no shadows on the background. Uh, you'll have... Uh, you have a light that's shining on the background, a light that's shining on the foreground, um, and a light that's just doing your, I believe, low lights, I think. I'm, I haven't been in class for a while, um, so I, I am not very, I'm a little rusty. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, is then create your chroma key, and uh, right off the bat, it's going to be like a solid white color. And it, it's taken me away, like, look at me, you, you can't see me, um, all the whites are gone, uh, so what you're going to do is select your color. Uh, and you want to select the most common green color that you can find. Uh, so, like, out here, it's a little bit darker. You're not going to want to pick that color. Uh, you want to pick the one that's, like, the most common color, which is probably about right here. All right, so as you see right there, uh, that's going to cut out most of it. It looks pretty good. Uh, not really up to standards to what I like to do. Um, but as you see, uh, you know, it does a pretty good job. Um, what I have on here on the outsides, uh, the outsides on my green screen aren't used. Uh, so what I do is I cut them out. So let me cut my green screen, or let me cut my corners out really quick uh, by selecting uh, Alt and then dragging in so we can cut out the desk right there. Um, so as you see there, it already looks like a ton times better. Um, so what else we want to do is go in here and we're going to we're going to edit our uh, similarity and our blend. What your similarity does is it matches colors that are really close to the color that you picked. Um, obviously, they're not all going to be the same exact color unless your green screen is absolutely flawless. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to bump up your similarity, uh, and you're going to see the the little dots right around my my neck, all the little shadows. You're going to see those slowly start to go away. Uh, if you do it too much, you're going to start to disappear. Uh, so what you want to do is just find that nice happy medium where you don't disappear, uh, but the background is gone. Uh, you're probably not going to get it perfect, uh, but you can also work out in on blend a little bit too, uh, as well as spill reduction. But I hope that helped. Um, it's obviously not perfect as you see here. Um, look, you got a little bit of shadow down here. Uh, you got some shadow over here. Um, it's going to take a little bit to get it perfect, but I hope that helped you guys out. That's about a five-minute video. A little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope that I can help you guys out. 
Uh, that is how you green screen inside of OBS. It's not too hard. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have the right equipment, uh, right lighting, make sure that uh, you're not making shadows on your screen. And then after that, it's pretty easy. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope that I helped you guys out. I'm going to go ahead and take the chroma key back off, and, uh, and we will uh, go ahead and end the video. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.